Story number 1, The Fox Without Tail, A Fox Was Stealthily Crossing a Field. But alas, he got trapped. He tried hard to come out of the trap. At last he made it. But his tail got cut off. He was ashamed of his loss. Back in the jungle a few of his friends saw him without his tail and asked, What happened? The fox did not want to accept his ill fate. He said, the tail is just an extra weight. I cut it off. But his clever friends could guess the reality and they asked, if that is the case, why are you sad? The fox did not know what to say now. He went away without giving an answer. Moral, empty words cannot become facts. Story number 2, the horse who wanted safety on the lawns of a forest grazed a handsome horse. He was a fast runner. But, he was often frightened by a tiger that passed by now and then. One day, as the horse was grazing, a man passed that way. He asked the man, Sir, aren't you afraid of lions and tigers? The man laughed aloud and answered, Me. Look what I have. He showed rifle and continued, Should any animal approach me I can shoot and kill him. The horse asked, If that is so, sir, will you help me? The man replied, Of course. I will. What will you do for me? The horse said, Anything you want of me, I will do. The horse told the man about the tiger. The man said, If you let me saddle you and take you with me, you need not be afraid of the tiger. The horse was too happy. The man led the horse into town and left him in a stable. Now, the horse thought to himself, I am indeed safe here. But I don't have any freedom. Moral, the other show always looks greener. Story number 3, The Hospital Window, it's story of two men who were both seriously ill and occupied same room at hospital. One man was next to room's only window and allowed to get only for one hour to sit up during his treatment of lungs. Other man had to spend all day lying flat on his back. Both men talked for hours. They spoke about their wives, families, home, job, vacation. Every afternoon when men next to room window would sit, he would pass time by describing scenery outside window to his roommate. The man in the other bed would love that one hour periods where his world would be broaden and activities and colors of outside world. As the man by the window described all the exquisite details of outside world and other man would close his eyes and imagine those scene. One afternoon man by the window described a very beautiful parade passing by the window. In spite other man couldn't hear the band but he could imagine all the things man by window described him. Suddenly a thought crossed his mind, why should he have all the pleasure of seeing everything and I get to see nothing. As days passed guy started to miss seeing sights more and more. His envy got over him and soon turned him sour. He was unable to sleep and thought now should control his life. Late one night as he was lying looking at the ceiling, the man by window started coughing. He was choking on his fluids and other man watched in dim light of room. As struggling man by window trying to get hold for button to call for help. Even listening this other man never moved, never pushed his own button which would have bought nurse running. In less than five minutes man by window chalking stopped along with sound of breathing. Now there was only deathly silence. Next morning nurse arrived to bring water for both of them. She saw their lifeless body of man by window.
As soon as man found it appropriate he asked if he could move to bed next to window. The nurse made the switch and after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. After moving to bed next to window, slowly painfully he tried to get up to take his first look outside. The window. He was excited that he would finally get to see outside window. He slowly turned to look out the window beside the bed and to his surprise window was facing blank wall. 